Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host Rich from Rich TV Live with Ian Parkinson, the VP of Corporate Development Capital Markets. How are you doing today, Ian? Doing great. Doing great. Very nice to good. meet you. I'm nice to meet you too. And we're here with Emerita Resources Corp. And I have some questions for you today, Ian. First and foremost, tell me a little bit about yourself and why you got involved with Emerita Resources Corp. Okay, that's a great question. So I'm probably the, I guess I am the, the most recent ad team. Uh, I spent the last 16 years on Bay Street, a series of investment banks. I was a former mining analyst, a chief of GP, CIDC World Markets, and that. Uh, primarily covering the mid cap mining space. Emory is a name that I followed, never actually published on it, but I was very familiar with in my past life and decided to make the leap, uh, leaving Steve from GP two weeks ago to join Emory. Congratulations. Pretty excited. Now, what would you say got you really excited about this project for you to want to get involved in it? Uh, quite simplistically, I wanted to get involved in a company that actually has potential to develop some mines, one or two mines. So, the project base that we have is quite exciting. Uh, it's, in a, it's in a phenomenal district, uh, the Iberian Pyrite Belt in southern Spain has a multi thousand year history. Rio Tinto, we both heard of Rio Tinto, I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> Rio Tinto mine is, is just outside our property package. We have Lundy Mining operating just across the Portuguese border in one of our projects. Uh, First Quantum is in the area, Sandfire, these are all companies I was very familiar with from my last life, and Emory just got a great property package in this district, so quite excited to be too. Fantastic. And is there any goals or catalysts that investors can look forward to with Emory to Resources Corp in 2023? Yeah, uh, great question, and yes, we are just finishing a 70,000 meter drill program. Uh, we should finish the physical part, the actual drilling, probably mid-February. Assays will trickle in over the next month or two. That's going to feed uh, our maiden resource calculation. That should be done in mid-Q2, assuming there's no question back in the QP. So we'll publish that probably mid part of the year. Um, we'll drop, we've got 15 drills turning now. Pull back on the drilling, we'll move to our second project in level 2 We haven't drilled that yet, so that's going to be more of a mid-year uh, event for us some data on that as we push the IBW project through the development phase. We'd like to move towards a either a PDA or a pre-feasibility study that will probably be early next year. So we've got those two projects to push forward and then we have our third project, Oslo Polar, which is stuck in a, a legal battle or a, a legal case in Spain. That's going to percolate in the background. It's likely to be settled in 2025. We've got two other projects to move forward. Lots of gaps. Lots of gaps. Fantastic. Now, just looking at the company's share structure, 207 million common shares outstanding, a market cap of 178 million. Is the company right now well capitalized? Is the company going to be looking to do any funding in the future? We are well capitalized for the work program we have right now. Okay. Of course, I mean, we are in a capital. Uh, intensive industry to advance these projects, we will need to raise additional capital. But right now, I'm comfortable with our cash balance. And we can, all the catalysts I just mentioned, we have the cash to pay those costs. Fantastic. And we've got investors here at Rich TV Live from all over the world that are looking for companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. What would you say to some of those investors that are looking at Emerita Resources Corp for the first time today? Um, well, I mean, if you look at our recent share price, uh, you know, we were north of four bucks once upon a time, traded back down to the 75, 80 cent range. Um, we'd love to retrace that uh, previous share performance. But what, what I think is important here is our projects are in well-established mining districts. This is not a science experiment. It's very, very, there are miners all over this district. It's also a very, very safe jurisdiction. It's, you know, we've seen political risk creep up parts of Latin America, South America, etc. It's part of Southern Spain, very, very safe environment, business environment, mining friendly, it's got all the contractors that we need, qualified employees. This is more than, these issues are, are, are often ignored or, or misunderstood by a lot of investors. We've got all the tools that we need to dance with. That's fantastic. Great. And if there was one thing that you would want an investor that's looking at Emirati, Marita Resources Corp for the first time today to know about this project, what would it be? Um, well, we've got a historic resource. So these areas, these projects have been worked in the past. 
We're not reinventing the wheel. We have the historic resource is non ni 43 to buy it. We are doing the work to bring it up to that current standard. But this is not a science experiment in, in, in some far flung jurisdiction. It's a mining friendly jurisdiction. We're, we're just walking and talking like this. This is not a mile of science. Fantastic. And for anyone that's watching that's interested in Emory from Resources Corp that would like to get in contact with you or get in contact with the company, what's the best way for them to reach you? Uh, reach us through the website. Um, I, think, I believe it's info at emeritaresources.com. Um, yeah, or social media. We've got social media presence on Twitter. Um, conventional, conventional methods. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm here with Ian Parkinson with Emory for Resources Corp. This is Rich, and we're sitting live from the Vancouver Resources Conference Center, VRIC, saying have a nice day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.